So, so this is why I like Mega Man style games. You can consider this a new game plus edition for Berserk Boy because I finished my review for it not too long ago. You can check it out in the link below. Also, please hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. But right now we're here talking about Berserk Boy once again. I have just acquired all the and you know what that means? It's time to head back to each one of those stages and have a new conversation. Finding all the little secrets, finding all the extra resistance, and of course taking on the bosses without much of a problem. And try to do it without dying. Which I did. But I didn't do all of them. I just got my first S rank, which was fun. But that's the that's the beauty and joy that I came to realize. Of because And I should have known this from the jump because I played Mega Man games for years and Honestly, you don't, I mean, for unless you're a tryhard or something like that, then you can go through the first portion of it, getting all A's or S's without dying and stuff like that. But I'm still learning. So I'm still, I'm not great at these Mega Man games. I'm, I'm going to say that I'm awesome. But as I progressed and I was getting a little bit down on myself, but not getting the high scores at all, which makes no damn sense. I started the realization that I'm learning, I'm getting used to all the abilities, their powers, the levels to see what they can do. And now that I have all the power-ups, now I can just go back, replay them again, which is the new game plus feature that I like. It's new game plus without actually adding new game plus. And then there's a new game plus plus in Berserk Boy with the EX levels that you're gonna have to go through as well, which is gonna be I wanna say harder difficulty. But that's kind of like that's kind of nice because once you defeat all the stages then you go back and try out ex mode which is new game plus plus to me some people might disagree because going back through the levels again with all the powers is not really a new game plus but honestly technically it is because if you didn't get all the resistant fighters because you didn't have the ability to do so then that's technically going through a new game plus as you have to now you got all the abilities to go through the special areas like with the flame ability, you can drill through the walls, and now with the last, I don't even know what the hell to call that one. Like shotgun, but he has laser beams, but you can use that to go through specific doors, and now that I'm going to do that, especially with the ability to fly now, it's going to actually make a lot of things easier. I just wanted to touch base on that real quick, nothing too crazy, but it's just fun to look back and, you know, come to that realization that some people don't even know. So if you're going through the first time, you know, just go through, learn what you can. It's like with any game. And the best part about this is that there's no real game overs anymore. It just like restarts you to the last point that you was at. And there are checkpoints in Berserk Boy too, so that's actually pretty cool. So it's a lot easier than what we had back in the day. I mean, you could go to retro style, I believe, in Berserk Boy. So yeah, you get to start all over again. <laughs> Well, yeah, I like I like this feeling. It's, it's it's intense, but it's also relaxing at the same time. Where you don't have to stress too much about it. But yeah, that's my new game plus for Berserk Boy to add an additional thought process to the game. It's available right now. You should check it out. Definitely on Steam, Nintendo, Switch, PlayStation's, Xbox. So you know, give it a shot. Let me know your thoughts. If you are playing right now, please comment below. Let me let's talk about it. Let's see what your favorite power up is. Other than that. Have a great weekend. Peace.